And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to quickly add the dimensions to objects in Inkscape. You can use that for technical drawings and I'm pretty sure that you've already seen that in your math test or your math homework, whatever. Let us create an object, in this case a rectangle. If we know the dimensions, we can use them. So let me use 600 times 300 pixels and afterwards select the object, go to extensions, visualize path and dimensions. We get a very simple menu just check the live preview geometric or visual in the drop down are available and you can change the offset for the x and y so to the left and to the top in this case you don't want to have it too far away from your object so let me use 100 for each don't forget to apply it so it's a group when you press shift Control g you can get the object out of the group and you can see what was actually rendered. So we know our size is 600. So let me just use the type tool here. I'll paste it in. And it was pixels. As you can see here in the drop down. But in some cases you might not know the size of your object. So let me just create a random object here. You can see that up here at the top, so not the exposition, right here for width and height. You could use these numbers, but in this case I've used millimeters. So let me create the dimensions again. I don't want to directly see what it is in pixels. And the easiest way to do that is to just use the measure tool right here. So go from left to right and then click on this icon, convert to item. Top to bottom as well. Once again, convert to item. This is also grouped, so shift control G and now you can select these individual objects and get rid of what you don't want to have. Just select it individually and press the delete key. And you can also ungroup this one with shift Control g and then give it a black fill and get rid of the grayish box if you want to. And now we know the width in pixels. We also have the angle here. Maybe you want to get rid of it. 90 degrees is easy to see. Keep in mind that the dimensions are added to the fill. So if you have a stroke to your object, you will see that the stroke will exceed the lines of the dimensions. So always be cautious with that. And this I can quickly add dimensions to objects in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.